slumber of the undead, or you will awaken the curse of darkness. Daisy, time to get up. Sunlight! Ah! I'm ruined! You have broken the sleep of the undead. That's not all I'm gonna break if you're not dressed and ready for school in five minutes. Oh no! Stop playing with your food. Finished already? Yep. Bye, Mom. Gotta go. Hmm? Hmm. Bradley! Bradley! Where is that Dorkosaurus? Every morning he leaves me out here waiting. Dry sand. All alone. As usual. Stacy, you forgot your lunch. What are you still doing here? Get to work. I mean, I've got to get to school. I mean, get. And don't forget, you're eating at your dad's tonight. Dad's cooking? Oh, no. Petrified. You wish. Come on, Stacy. I scared the socks off you. I'm so sure. Let's just have a look at the instant replay, shall we? See? Socks on. Hmm. Let's look at that in super slow mo. Socks definitely scared off. What's for lunch today? Yeah! Lunch! What else? What's the grossest thing you ever ate? Nothing. I never eat gross stuff for your big fat information. Okay, but if I said you had to choose between eating a dead skunk or a human eyeball, which one would you pick? Neither one. No, you have to pick. Do not. You're not the head of everything, Bradley. Okay, okay. If you wanted to, which one would you pick? I wouldn't want to. Okay, okay. I'll give you a million dollars to pick one and eat it. <laughs> you don't have a million dollars. Let's say I've got a million dollars. Let's say we both do. No way! I have to have all the money, so you don't have any. So you have to pick between the dead skunk and the human eyeball. In that case, I choose a delicious fresh garden salad. A salad? Uh-oh. Here comes that smelly rustle. Hold your breath! <gasps> What's he kicking? His lunch. His own? Yep. And then he eats it? Oh no, we're late! <gasps> Phew, made it. I was afraid we'd have to go see Principal Coffin. Now go. All right, settle down. Listen up. The first step in the learning process is settle down. Second, you gotta listen up. So let's settle down and listen up. Settle down and listen up. I'm getting a headache. Today's lesson is how the body works. Specifically, the body of the bullfrog. We'll learn about the entire inside of the bullfrog's slimy little body. We'll examine the heart, the lungs, and of course, the uh, lower intestine. 
All of which are represented on this chart. The small intestine is like the body's internal blender. Everything gets in there and gets whipped around and all smooshed up into a kind of gooey, uh, partially digested semi-fluid which infiltrates the family. Lunch time. Hi, kids. What's for lunch, Mrs. Lewis? How about a nice lamb chop? Hi, kids. Wanna hear a story? Baloney, 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 baloney. What you got, Bee Man? So funny, I forgot to laugh. Melody, trade me, please. Melody has always got health food. You hate health food. Well, let's see. I've got a soy burger, bean curd, alfalfa sprouts, sweet germ, carrot sticks. Oh, yeah, and a quadruple bypass chocolate chip, fudgy chunk, macadamia nut brownie for dessert. Bingo! No trade. Pop, what you got? Pectin, high fructose corn syrup, desiccated peanut meal with a little butylated hydroxylene added to preserve freshness. What else? Huh? Peanut butter and jelly, my favorite. What are you having, William? Hard-boiled egg. <gasps> oh. Hit the deck! Gas attack! <laughs> Here he comes. How come he always has to sit at our table anyway? Because he likes you. Why else? Real mature, Bradley. I'm trying to eat, okay? Ugh, told ya. What? Here it comes. Don't look directly at it. I can't help it. It's alive. Call in the Burpinator. This means war. Oh no. What happened? I ran out of gas. <laughs> meal I've ever seen. What could have created such a thing? A mad scientist conducting experiments with the DNA of fruits and vegetables. And lunch meats. And lunch meats, okay, whatever. of her creation. It was too big. It was too hideous. It was... What are you two doing in here? Middle Stick Elementary School, regulation number 742, clearly states that students are not allowed in janitorial supply areas at any time. Uh, it's kind of a long story. Now, go. <laughs> It's gaining on us! It's hopeless! We'll never make it out alive! William! Oh.
so hungry anymore. Me neither. What? Okay, Han, soup's on. Now, I know it's not your mom's cooking, but I don't want to hear any complaint. What's for dessert, Dad? You mean, you liked it? Let me put it this way. I've had worse. I love you, my banana nose. I love you, my dog breath. The three sixteenths hold. A lovely floral soap dish. And the trick to canning Brussels sprout preserves. I think we need a new remote control. Huh? Today on the Hotfoot Channel. <laughs> How'd you do that? Now, let's try this again. Welcome to Madame Go-Go's Psychic Network. All right! Oh, no! I am Madame Go-Go, and I can see into your future. I can see there's still nothing on TV. Don't start, Bradley. Madame Go-Go's the greatest. Madame Go-Go? I want to know. Dad, don't tell me. You want to know your future. Why, that's right. Amazing. Fake. You will be rich. But first, you must make a lot of money. Nobody can predict the future. I can. Oh, yeah, right. Predict the weather, maybe. I'm predicting perfectly sunny skies. Oh, well. I can't so tell the future. I'm psychic, just like Madame Gogo. Bet you can't. Bet me what? Everything I've got in this pocket. Let's see it. For Mr. Fudgy Bar. Yuck. Hmm. No thanks. What's in the other pocket? Lester? Lester, you've got a live chameleon in your pocket? I didn't know he was in there. He must have changed color to match my pants. Oh, let me. Casey, watch it. Where'd he go? He's your lizard. Call him. Lester! Lester, where are you? Hey, if you're so psycho, you ought to know where he is. Psychic, not psycho. And besides, I don't do lizards. Lester's not a lizard. He's a chameleon. Same thing. Actually, a chameleon is one of various old world lizards with unusual ability to change its skin Even color. so, if Stacy's a real psycho... Psychic! Then she ought to be able to find Lester no sweat. <laughs> Could if I wanted to. Oh, as if. Go ahead, Madam Know-It-All. Tell Polly's future, then. Madam Stacy sees all. I see London, I see France, when I go into my trance. Oh, brother. I see that you will use very big words. Well, I do generally utilize an extensive vocabulary to enhance the communication process. Okay, I'm done. Lucky guess. Come on, Pepperoni. <laughs> Come on, we'll be late for your obedience class. What's mine, then? Your pitiful little fortune? Easiest thing I've done all day. I see London, I see France. Yeah, yeah, abracadabra, open sesame, get to the fortune. Step back, step back, I need more room. I see that you will be very short. You did that on purpose. I knew you were going to say that. Hi, Dad, what you doing? Going over to mow your mom's lawn. Huh? We don't have a lawn. Let's go watch. The guy was practically giving it away. In fact, he was giving it away. 
You don't mow her, Mr. Stickler. What are you gonna do with it? Gonna mow the lawn for Stacy's mom. What else? Dad, it's not real grass. They put in green gravel, remember? <laughs> uh, no problemo. Uh, I got all the attachments, too. <laughs> mom, have you seen Lester? I don't think so. Who's Lester? My chameleon. Stacy let him get away. And now she won't use her psycho power. Psychic! Wanna get your fortune told, Mrs. Stickler? Stacy, is that my good silk scarf? Gotta go, Mom! Stanley, you're gonna open your own hole in the ozone layer with that thing! I think I need a new gasket. I think you need a new brain. Well, let's start with the gasket first and take it from there. I see, I see. No, wait, I smell. Oh no, it's Lance. And that smelly Russell. Hey, Scradley. Real mature Lance, his name's Bradley, okay? Well, if it isn't Stacy's Stinkler. Hey, I didn't know it was Halloween. Oh yeah, well, for your big fat information, she's a psychic. What's a psychic? No, who's a psychic? What? Who? Huh? Who is a psychic? How's he supposed to know? We just got here. Quiet down, big boys, and Madam Stacy will see into your future. Is this some kind of trick? Like to make us look, um, stupid? So sorry, it is too late for that. Oh, yeah? Ah! Tell us our fortunes, Matt. What's your face? Or Scradley takes a trip to Wedgie Town. No thanks, guys. We just went there yesterday, remember? Uh, Stacy, do something! Wait! I see big stars. Very big stars. Movie stars? Yes. But first, you must release the boy. Oh, yeah? Why? Because he will be the cameraman. Ah! Action! as I predicted. Stanley, will you please give it up? It is green gravel, not grass! Lester! Don't worry, Stel! I'll get it! The lizard? No! The gasket! That Cost me three and a half bucks! Master! Frank! Go, boy! Let go of it!
What the? Howdy, neighbor. Wait, no, he's tame. And the other one's my pet lizard. We can explain. Any bright predictions, Madam Know-It-All? Only that we're gonna be in big trouble. Uh, it had to happen. Dabbling in the unknown can have consequences beyond our control, you know? Oh, dear. Uh, beyond our control. Beyond our control, that's it! Beyond our control? The remote control! Where'd you put it? Me? I didn't have it last. <gasps> Here it is. Give it to me. Must need new batteries. Must need a new operator. Give me it. Bradley, no! I'm doing it! Watch it, you're good! 